Hi guys and welcome to another video. I thought it may be interesting to show you how the normal day in the life of cabin crew looks like. We are flying uh, 40 minutes past midnight. Right now it's 7 p.m. and it's Tuesday. I have already had my nap and because I have two doggies I already dropped them to the daycare that they're gonna stay overnight and tomorrow Ian is gonna pick them up I will show you what I pack, what I do to my face <laughs> and uh, how I prepare for this specific flight Let's give it a go, let's start! The check-in time is 40 minutes past midnight but the briefing time is 10-15 minutes before that. If you start flying you will see that most of us we carry some kind of notebook with us most of the time at least for, for that briefing part of the duty and we write down here um, the date, the destination, the aircraft registration so today I'll be flying the aircraft type Boeing 787-10 I usually write down the names uh, of my crew and the special information So let's say the airport name, the time zone um, and some rules regarding what we can or cannot do as a crew Let's say we have bars with alcohol on board In some destinations we cannot have them open on the ground so they have to be sealed and locked In Manchester we are not allowed to, to have them open So before landing uh, or on the ground before departure we will not be allowed uh, to serve alcohol Apart from that I also check some aircraft specific information We fly on different aircrafts uh, Not only on Boeings but also on Airbuses and even in the Boeing family we have 787, we have 777 and 787 has different vari variations as well and there are some differences depending on the aircraft registration Once I reach the airport I will go to that briefing room and we will discuss all those things that I noted down Any additional information that we may have um, Let's say how many uh, special meals were ordered or oh, if you don't know that and if you're traveling with Etihad uh, you can actually pre-order your meal and then uh, you're certain that you will get this, the meal that uh, fulfills or goes along with your specific diet We will be discussing how many kids we have on board, how many infants we have on board if we have any guests with uh, reduced mobility or any medical needs uh, once that is done, we will proceed to the aircraft to prepare it for boarding, do all the checks and searches that we are required to do and we will start boarding Guys, uh, I don't know if you ever seen, this is the, this is the bag that uh, we get from the company um, and the one that goes into the hot. We also have a trolley bag that's a bit smaller that we take into the cabin and a small beauty bag but when it comes to this one I have some things here that I never removed from my bag uh, hand sanitizer I also have some tea also things I carry always with me in the bag but not necessarily on me uh, is the umbrella also the universal adapter I have my sunglasses closed. I've already decided what I'm gonna wear tomorrow. Denim jacket in case it's colder than I expect. Shoes and a bag in case I, I want to go out. On top of that we will have just toothpaste. I, I know they also give toothpaste in a in hotels but I just I don't like any other toothpaste this is the only toothpaste that I like so I always carry that one in this bag as well on top of it I will also um, put my uh, makeup bag and my chargers and then it will be ready for this flight 
I have this ponytail ready and just take that ponytail and twist it and throw it over its base. It doesn't really have to be perfect at this time, just so you keep it in one place with bobby pins. Once it is in its place, you take your hairnet and you put it over. I like to do it twice just to make sure that there's no hair sticking out. And then again, I roll the remaining part around it. And I like to remove those pins now once it's in place and secure it with the same bobby pins. I will later on put some hair gel. I will do it just before the flight. I will use this one. It's called a bed head. And I will also insert some regular bobby pins on the side, two on each side. And you have to have the same amount on each side. So if you have one, you can only have one on the other side. If you have two, you have to have two on the other side. And now I'm just gonna put some Primer And yeah, I'm not a makeup artist or I don't really it's not my hobby. It's not my passion. So I Don't know exactly what I'm doing. I'm just doing whatever works best for my Skin you should not necessarily follow what I'm doing, but it's a part of my preparation. So I just wanted to share Lower lashes, I would normally not paint them, even if I go out somewhere and I do makeup. I never do my lower lashes because I feel that it looks like legs of spiders. It is one of the requirements, one of the things that we have to do. So you will only see me with painted lower lashes at work. Three hours later. I'm not gonna do my lipstick now because I still have uh, one hour till I have to drive and then I'll be in the car for one hour. So I'm just gonna uh, do it once I arrive to the airport. And now the magic stick. <laughs> Some bobby pins. I got a message from the company that my flight is delayed. It's 40 minutes, so <laughs> I'll be just sitting here. <laughs> At least I haven't left my home. Okay guys, so it's time to drive. Uh, it's 50 past 10. We'll be in one hour at the airport and then I'll put my lipstick on and go to work. Uh, we'll probably come back to you from the hotel in Manchester uh, So see you then guys Okay, guys, so I'm coming back to you as I promised seven hours later Just gonna undress a little bit. I just got to the room And it's fancy. It looks fancy So yeah, I'll just show you the room and I'll go sleep <laughs> Hi guys, so I just woke up and got ready to uh, go out a little bit. My brain is a little bit spaghetti, so I find it very difficult to put the sentences together right now. It's 1.30 p.m. and I just wanna uh, go out for a moment, walk around the city and have some food. My wake up call is at 5.20 which means that at 6, 6.10, 6 o'clock around ish I have to be downstairs. I took a small nap of two, two and a half hours. I don't know, I'm just afraid that I won't be able to sleep 
uh, anymore later on, although I'm super tired. Let's not sit here any, any longer um, and let's just go check out the city and see how it is. Um, regarding the flight, it was okay, it was just super long and it was a night flight. Um, we departed with the 40 minutes delay, so it was around 3 a.m. that we departed and we landed around uh, uh, what was it uh, 7 7 30 ish it's been the whole night without sleeping and as i said tomorrow i'm expected to wake up in the morning which i find very challenging because if you at least have one day in between you can kind of shift between those um, between those uh, hours but with no time in between, you just come back, you want to sleep, but you, if you sleep, you won't be able to wake up and so on. So that's one of the challenges definitely that you will face if you become a cabin crew. <laughs> so let's go check out the city. I did some shopping, I didn't buy any clothes or anything like that, I literally just put food and cosmetics. Price wise, I don't think it was that reasonable, I mean it wasn't expensive but it wasn't also a great deal. I almost never do shopping in UAE anymore, most of the shoppings I do, I do outstation in different countries, so let's say um, I know I have a Frankfurt flight in June, so I will definitely not buy any dishwasher tablets or anything like that I still have a lot from my Frank last Frankfurt flight, but I'm just gonna stock up again and uh, And not worry about it for the next couple of months. I did buy some uh, chippies for later so this one and I also bought the spicy coconut rice Kit Kats, I would buy more. To be honest, I would buy probably the whole box, but those were the last few that they had, so I bought four of them. So this is something that I used to love. It is not available in Poland, it is not available, at least it wasn't when I was living in Poland, and it was not available, uh, it's not available in UAE. This is really nice, I like them a lot, so... And then last trip I went to Super Drug, Super Drug, that's yeah, Super Drug. So I bought the pure cotton pads, which were 250 pounds, I think. And uh, then I bought the face cleaner, which was around 10 pounds or something like that. Same price for this micellar water, micellar, micellar. How do you? micellar and then i bought the bondi sands because i don't have any sydney flight and if i feel like uh, not being so pale then this is the self-tanning um, product that i uh, go for and this one was also around 10 pounds and then i bought the liquid eyeliner because i just wanted to try something in a different color i don't know if you can see it's blue so that's it. I didn't buy anything else. That's all I did basically. I just went shop, walk around the city and now I'm back. I'll just uh, pack quickly, iron my clothes, uh, relax, maybe eat one of those noodles and then, um, then I will see you in the morning. guys so that was my wake up call oh, i can hear it in other rooms poor people who are not willing or didn't want to wake up at 5 20. i'm pretty much ready i usually try to be ready when the wake up call rings i try to already be done with makeup hair packed and just relaxing and having my coffee 
I'm not a morning person, so I do need to uh, wake up a bit earlier to just let my... That was my reminder about the wake up call. Uh, yeah, I just need some time to, um, to wake up my brain. In 25 minutes I'll just start putting my uniform on and then I will go down. At 6.45 is planned landing. And to be honest, I just want to go back home because I have uh, two or three days off after this flight and I just want to chill with my dogs. I didn't really have much time after coming back from Malaysia from my holidays to enjoy time with them because straight away after holidays you go to work. So yeah, I'm just looking forward to those few relaxed days at home. Okay, I'll see you in Abu Dhabi. So guys, we made it back to Abu Dhabi. I'm just sitting in my car now, ready to drive back home. It was an extremely tiring flight. <laughs> uh, like literally within the first 10 minutes from departure, we had already medical emergency. And from there on, it was just busy and busy and eventful. So I'm so happy to be back on the ground <laughs> nothing from now on is gonna happen so it's just one hour drive and i'll be back let me know if you enjoy uh, this type of the video if it, if there was anything surprising or anything you'd like me to elaborate on or if you have any questions and so on i do hope you enjoyed it and i hope to see you in the next one